What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys something really, really cool. So have you always wondered how to change the weather from your clip to basically anything you like, whether that's actually like sunset or a rain or a storm or snow, anything like that. When it comes to actually a lot of good color grading, along with some really, really realistic VFX included onto that clip, you can basically change the weather to whatever you like. If you have a really, really dark dark clip that shot for example with a really really gray cloud you can actually insert a lot of these things from the website these assets from actionvfx.com that you can actually use to make the weather change no matter what kind of weather you're looking for so if you guys are excited for this video and if you guys are ready to change your weather from your clip in vegas pro 18 make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching and i would say let's get started of course right after the intro All right, guys, so right now we are in Vegas Pro and right here I have basically two shots that I shot in the back of the apartment. What I actually did and what I actually would recommend you guys to do as well is to shoot this clip with the less contrast possible. Since I got my Panasonic GH5, I actually got this V-Lock setting, which is basically like a setting that you can buy or license where you can actually go and place it into your camera and then it shoots like almost without a color. Almost it's really close to black and white but just to give you so many different grading options and that's where we need it right here because you cannot really see that it's really really bright of course you can see the sun of course right here but if you know what i mean if i'm gonna grade this one and if i'm gonna for example pretend that i'm gonna shoot in the standard way which will look like this it's a really nice weather we have a blue sky we have sun everywhere if you're gonna put rain over this and like clouds and everything like that it's not gonna look realistic or it has to be like some sort of a rainbow type of stuff but of course that's basically something you have to keep in mind of that you can shoot for example in a different mode and if you don't have that mode or if you're filming with your iPhone for example which already would look like this with a lot of contrast what you can do is you can go to the video effects tab right here and then you can just scroll down where you see the black and white filter and then you want to place that one on top of it and then what you can do is you can just mess with this marker and actually bring it a lot more down I would say for example like this this is actually a nice way how you can simulate this filter but I'm going to undo everything for a second because this is of course what it will be using and then we're going to grade this one depending on the weather so first we're going to drag in the assets that we're going to use for today's video which are from actionvfx.com the link is down in the description so this is basically a website that will give you the best stock footage for visual effects when it comes to explosions all these visuals that you can see right here so if you go to the product page right here we have everything you can imagine from blood and gore fire to glass to optics to particles smoke sound effects everything that you can imagine the link is down in the description and right here they have a weather at the very bottom and it's really nice that I can go ahead and download these clouds I can download clouds lightning all of that so I'm gonna go into my account and download these so while it's downloading right here we also have free sound effects so it says 34 real water sound effects download for completely free includes water blasts small water hits delivered in 24 bit 96 kilohertz wave format and wave is actually higher than mp3 so it's even better quality so you can just click on here you click on wave it's zero dollars completely for free they have so many different packages on the website and overlays that you can download completely for free as well as the link is down below this is my folder this is everything that comes into the package completely free of charge let's go ahead and drag all of them by pressing ctrl a on our keyboard to drag them all into vegas so we have a lot of different choices what to actually use everything is loading as you notice right here we have a lot of really really nice clouds i do have to mention they're just cloud photos but it's really nice that you can choose your own movements to these by just messing a little bit more with the event pan and crop that we'll get to in just a second so let's go ahead and place this footage under these clouds and it's really nice that you can just go and press on the compositing mode and you want to press screen and right here you will actually see through the clouds it's really really nice i think a wide cloud would actually be very nice for this so i think this last one is also a little bit more on the realistic side too so let's go and place it right here on our footage now of course we're going to make this a lot smaller we're going to click on the track motion icon this white one on the left of the track then we're going to make it a lot smaller and then we're going to go and place these ones in the skies 
So as you can see right here, it would be really nice to have it, for example, like this. And you can even lower the opacity of the cloud just to make it look a little bit more on the realistic side. But then right here, as you notice, if the clip moves, the cloud is going to stay on the same position. So you just have to motion track this one, for example, to this building that will also rise up, which is really, really cool. So now that you guys know how to actually, you know, insert these clouds, we can go and also grade this one a little bit differently so first we're going to go to the brightness and contrast then we're going to go to the default we're going to drag it on here and we're going to drag in a lot more contrast but it's getting a little bit too summery so we're going to go and add in a little bit more different color grading right now so we're going to go to the color corrector the secondary drag it onto your clip and then you can go and mess around with like the saturation so this is actually looking like a spring day so that's not what we want so let's bring this actually down to a little bit more of a gray side you can also bring up the gamma or bring down the gamma a little bit i would actually bring it a lot up because if you're going to bring down the gamma the sun will really come through everywhere so i would just keep it for example on this bright way like this so it looks a little bit more of a gray weather then the gain you can also choose if you want to manipulate it a little bit more this way like that then we have the offset which is of course going to be the same because I think if I'm going to bring the offset offset down too much, it's going to look like the camera is shot on a, like a really like low ISO on a summary day. That's not what we want. So right now that we've done this, we can go to the regular color corrector right here above the secondary one, drag it in. Then we can have these panels and we can actually color grade this one to however we like it. So right here we have this one, the low tone. So I would actually color grade this one into a little bit more of a blue one. Blue is actually a little more of a colder one. So let's go and drag it like this then we have the mids so let's drag that one a little bit more to the blue side as well just to make sure it looks really like more to the colder side So right now we're going to focus on the sound. So right here we downloaded all of these separate water sound effects. Right here we downloaded all of these separate water sound effects. But it's actually a splash like that we're standing next to a lake. Like you would for example jump into a pool. So what I would do is I would actually trim off the beginning part. And then if you notice if I lower the volume it's actually more of a rainy kind of sound in the background. Like water is dripping down on the street, on the roof, anywhere you can think of. So let's play it back right now. So as you can hear, that sounds really nice. So you can also loop this one or you can just also add in different parts. So then we can also make it sound really, really realistic. Well, of course, guys, having these standing still clouds would be actually a lot better for photos for Instagram or something like that. Or let's say that you have a, a regular, you know, clip uh, filming on a tripod that could also work. But if you have a moving clip just like this one, it's actually very nice that we have moving clips or a moving cloud rather. So on the website, you can always also find these ones if I'm going to show you guys real quick right here as you notice we have this really nice thunder clip which is also 2k 30 fps so you can also get your hands on that one which i have in my project right here so let's go and place it on this track so as you notice right here this is of course the cloud looking really really nicely so let's go and make this one transparent as well so just like the last video that we talked about where how we can make these assets transparent is go to the compositing mode and then we're going to click on screen so the black disappears so if i'll play this back as you can see it looks really really cool so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go and lower the opacity of the clip for a second so that we can see the thunder so we can position it so let's go and play it back so right now i'm going to move up a couple frames until it's the lightest part right here so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the track motion once again and we're going to place this guy for example right there in the air and you can also make it really big for example even over the screen if you want to and you can also add in you can also add in a little bit more of brightness and contrast really make it come to life so now if i bring up the opacity again this is what it looks like as you can see so what you could do is you could for example mask out the roofs if i go back right here as you can see if i go to the event pan crop icon if i mask all around this roof which I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to draw a little square. You can move this square, for example, and then you can bring this one down to see where it touches the edge. Let's say that we're going to do it right here. So as you notice, that looks actually a lot better. So now we're going to go to the feather type. We're going to place that one to both. And right now that's going to actually smoothen this edge. 
So now we're going to go to the feather and we're going to bring this one up. So if you pay attention to the previous screen, guys, is you notice the actual the line actually disappears, which look, which looks really, really cool. And that's how you can also cover it up a little bit. So this is what it looks like, guys. It looks really nice if you pay attention at the top of the screen, like it's thundering right there. And you can also add in all these kind of snowflakes, sound effects, thunder. So it's really nice that you can look on the website to see what kind of clouds are suiting your film or your video or your short movie. The link is down in the description, guys. And that's pretty much how to change the weather in Vegas Pro 18. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. This is how you change the weather into your clip in Vegas Pro 18, no matter what kind of weather you have. It's a great weather. You want to make it into a sunny kind of atmosphere. It's really simple how you can just go to actionvfx.com, log into your account and start browsing for these effects. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for the continued support. Thanks a lot, Action VFX, for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video as well.